What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Matrix21 here with another video. Before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. So today, so today we got something a little different. We're going over um, uh, some video games. So we're gonna take a look at the top 10 video games that I'm looking forward to in 2021 and my not so expert opinion. <laughs> but uh, without further ado, let's just go. Let's get to it. So at number 10, we have Scorn, which releases in fall of 2021. This is an Xbox Series X exclusive, but uh, it seems pretty decent. It's a first person horror shooting game. Really nice, uh, kind of reminds me of uh, Prey, which came out a few years ago on the Xbox 360. Uh, like, I really like the visuals for from it, really like alien type uh, vibes going on, but it seems pretty cool. So I uh, definitely want to give it a shot. So at number nine, we have Monster Hunter Rise. Releases uh, March 26, 2021 for the Nintendo Switch. It was a pretty cool game. I've played one of the Monster Hunter games before in the past. It was pretty cool. I can't remember which one, but uh, I'm kind of looking forward to this. I want to try something a little bit different that I really don't play on a normal basis. So we're gonna, I'm definitely want to check this out. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I like the graphics on it. And I, I do want more games with my Switch. So uh, it'd be a pretty decent game to try to pick up and see, what, see how it is. So number eight, we have Far Cry 6, which releases on May 25th, 2021. It's on numerous platforms, but the most important thing is it has Giancarlo Esposito modeled as the main character. His voice acting is amazing is in it as well. He's one of my favorite actors, so anything he's in is gonna be a definite must for me. Uh, you know he's gonna bring that kind of a greedy attitude. And Far Cry has always been a pretty good game. I love first person shooters, so this is definitely a game I wanna get my hands on and try it out. Plus, like I said, Giancarlo's in it. <laughs> Number seven, we have a new game for PS5. It's straight and it comes out sometime in 2021. Uh, this is a very interesting game, something different, something new. You're following, you're playing as a cat, basically you're going through this new futuristic kind of uh, landscape. It is pretty cool. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it's super interesting in my opinion. And it's something I definitely, definitely want to get my hands on. Like I said, it's PS5, so you know the graphics will be there. And uh, I don't know, it just seems like really, really cool. At number six, we have the newest Resident Evil, Resident Evil Village, released in the April of late April 2021. I think it may not be on Xbox uh, Series X. I'm not sure right now, but uh, Resident Evil is always a good game, so I definitely wanted to check out. I do like this new kind of uh, landscape they're going with. This is a kind of winter landscape. It looks pretty cool. It looks really scary. It looks really, really nice. So I uh, definitely want to check out. So at number five, we have an Xbox Series X exclusive, State of Decay 3, releasing sometime in 2021. Uh, it seems like a pretty cool game. I hadn't played the first two, but uh, the premise of it is really nice in my opinion. The graphics look amazing, as you would expect. And uh, it's just really cool, like a zombie type thing. Uh, I don't know, I just really, I'm really interested in it. I really wanna get it. So I may be jumping on this one as soon as I get my Series X in hand. So we finally get Hitman 3 and it's released in January 20th, 20, 2021 on everything. Uh, it's a game that I've been waiting on. I know a lot of people have been waiting on. I love the Hitman series and to be able to get this, especially on the Xbox Series X, I definitely got to get that. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, it comes out next month and uh, if you want it, definitely get up, jump on it. It seems like a pretty cool game. All of them have been, so yeah. So number three, I have Outriders. It releases on uh, February 2nd, 2021. It seems like a really cool game. It's a third person shooter. I don't like third person as much as first person, but this one, I, I kind of like it. Has some powers, a whole bunch of extra stuff going on, alien stuff, it seems like. It's a lot going on in this, uh, the trailer. I, I'm really interested in it, and I really want to jump, jump on it. So definitely a game that I have my eyes on, and I really, really want to get. So uh, yeah, Outsiders, pretty, Pretty, pretty nice. So number two, the PlayStation exclusive, God of War Ragnarok. It releases sometime in 2021. This is a game that, man, 
from playing the first God of War to this, I really got to get this. I know it's going to look amazing. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be really cool. The last God of War was nice. Kind of set up this one with his son being... I don't want to give any spoilers alert, spoilers, but yeah, it's going to be really cool to be able to see Kratos potentially fight Thor. Whew, I can't wait. So the number one game I'm looking forward to next year is Halo Infinite. Hopefully it's releasing next year. It's Xbox Series X, Xbox One exclusive. You know Halo is my favorite game of all time. That didn't go to nine, but this is a game I definitely got to get. I can't wait till it drops. I'm definitely going to jump on it. Yeah, see, you'll see me on there. You'll see me online. <laughs> you'll definitely see me online. But it's definitely, I gotta get it. And boy, the graphics are gonna be amazing. So here's the recap of the top 10 games I'm looking for in 2021. Like I said, some cool stuff here, stuff I really, I've played before, some stuff that's new that I'm, I'm just kind of interested in, but uh, a lot of cool stuff going on here. Like I said, it's just my opinion. I'm pretty sure your, your list will be different. And by the way, below, drop your list of your top 10 games you're looking for in 2021. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you today. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss a video. This is Mitch21. Peace. Talk to you all later. Bye.